Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Wife of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be planning out the week of Monday, September 21st to Sunday, September 27th. This is my Erin Condren Hourly Neutral Life Planner Binder. I have went ahead and done some pre-planning for the week. And the sticker kit that we're going to use, I believe this one's called Cozy from Simply Smith Stickers. I absolutely love this. I'm actually using the same kit in my daily duo this week. So this is fun and it's beautiful and I love it. So we are going to get right into it. Now, full disclosure here because I do my best to keep it real. Today's actually Tuesday, and I still have not got my life together yet. It has been a crazy week. I'm not really sure why, if I'm being honest. Um, well, I mean, I do. We're trying to sell a house, which <laughs> is crazy in and of itself. Yesterday, I don't really know what happened, but I didn't. Actually, what was it? Oh, I think we got... We had a showing yesterday. That's what it was. And I wasn't expecting to have a showing. So I had planned to film yesterday and then we had a showing and that didn't happen. And then I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to film, you know, this afternoon. And that didn't happen because we had another showing. But I'm actually really, really excited about the showing that we had today. This isn't perfect, but I'm just going to go with it. So the showing that we had today was some, well, it was somebody who had already viewed the house last week or over the weekend. I can't remember exactly when. And I guess they had given some verbal positive feedback to my realtor. He didn't tell me what they said. He just said that they had, you know, he had re finally received some positive feedback which we've received some po po positive feedback, you know, just some people that would be like, oh, we don't like the spiral staircase or, you know, whatever. So the people that looked at the house today were one of the people that had looked at the house um, last week. So I hope that I get some good news soon. This is the first time that somebody has requested a second showing. I did bake them some cookies and leave them a little thank you note for reviewing my house again. They did take the package of cookies that I left for them. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. But on the same token, I'm trying to not get my hopes up because this has been such a freaking long process. Like I told you guys this before, but never in a million years did I think that I would still be living in Alaska right now. So that is kind of what has been going on around here. All right, so I got my day covers down. I'm going to go ahead and put them down now. I'm just going to do some back planning for yesterday and today since well, let's see, it is six o'clock right now. So today is almost over with, but that's okay. This is a little bit of a different kind of week for us because we're gonna be going out of town. And I will talk to you guys about that as I lay out everything for the week. So Benjamin did have his two hockey games last weekend. They did not win. The other team had got the opportunity to play, I think, two or three preseason games, which was super nice. And Ben's team had no preseason games. So that was their first game. But they didn't lose horribly. It was like uh, one to three, I think, one to four. And one of those goals was an empty netter. So does it really count? I don't know. And then I think the next game was like zero to three or whatever. So they were close. Unlike last year when they would get blown out of the water by like, you know, 12 or 13 points. So there are my date covers. I'm not really sure if I'm going to go ahead and put my Instagram posts down. 
I really need to think about that and to see if it's really beneficial for me to do that anymore. I don't know. I keep going back and forth about so many things. Okay, so let's put the weekend. I think we'll do this on the bottom this time. I think that'll probably be okay. I don't know if you can hear Lucas, but he's upstairs and he is so noisy. Like when he learns to talk, I keep telling my mother, he will never shut up. When he learns to talk, like it will be straight, like we used to call Devin when he was little, um, we used to call him rubber jaws because he was never quiet, like ever. So I think I'm going to use this for my steps because one of these days I'm going to start tracking my steps again. And then maybe I will use this for, actually I don't probably need that huge one. Let's see. I think maybe I'll put exercise right here because I need to make that a priority. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like that for right now. Whoops, that one goes over here. Okay, so let's just start and then we will see how this goes together. So Liberty does not have school on Wednesday. They're doing some kind of, um, well, a pretty extensive road construction right by her school. There's a bridge that is closed and it's going to be closed until October of 2021, which is like more than a whole year away. And that bridge has been closed all summer. Like I just can't imagine what on earth they're doing to still have that bridge closed. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put these at the bottom or if I want to put these up at the top or if I want to put these in the middle. So let's, let's just put them. I love this fox so freaking much. Let's put them right here and see how that works. Okay, I like the way that looks. I really, really love these. They are so gorgeous. And these are the repositionable mat stickers, which I really like as well. I'm going to try and put this one right over here and see what that looks like. I think that's cute. All right, Wednesday, Lucas has a doctor appointment. He is going to be seeing the eye doctor. Let's use this one as eye doctor appointment. I think it's at like 11.15. And then he has to have some blood work done too. So I should probably put that in there. He was going to have his blood work done this morning, but Michaela forgot that he can't eat before he has his blood work and she fed him because, you know, he wants to eat like the minute his feet hit the floor, which I don't know if I've told you guys, but he is like walking everywhere. It's funny because he can't put himself into a standing position yet, like directly from the floor. So he has to crawl over to something, then stand up and then he can walk all over. It's hilarious. Okay. So blood work, doctor appointment, and then we have a showing, actually, let's not take that off yet. We have a showing from four to five tomorrow. I mean, we're supposed to anyways. But then I also have to pick up my husband from the airport, which I'm super excited about that because I feel like he's been gone for like three lifetimes. 
trying to think how I want to do this. So let's put him right here. So this will be the showing. This will be pick up my husband. I mean, it was, it was what? Five weeks, but feels like three years. And then over here, we are going to be leaving for Anchorage. So let's leave this one right here for a minute because I want to pull out one of my road trip stickers. But I know I have a payday somewhere that I pulled out. Where did I see that? Oh, here it is. Because Thursday is payday. So let's put this one up here. And then we're also going to have to go grocery shopping. So let's put grocery shopping right here. We may actually do it Wednesday night, but I'm not sure if he's going to want to do that. And then I'm going to put one of these bigger ones. right here because this will be for pack. We have to pack the camper. I'm going to go ahead and cover up this 10 o'clock since it's not really super relevant. Then I will put in this one right here. This is my cousin doctor appointment. This is why we can't leave for Anchorage until like this time because he has to wait until his doctor appointment is over with. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can find my road trip stickers. I thought that I pulled them out before I started filming, but clearly that was not the case. Oh, here we go. These road trip stickers are she S152 from Planner K, just so you know. I'm going to have to trim this a little bit. So let's just do that and then I'll use one of let's see how this looks this might be stupid but okay and then I'm going to cover up the six o'clock right here so I'm just going to leave that and see if I don't like this I can just trim it right here but we'll see for a few minutes what I think about it. All right, so Friday we will we will not drive all the way to Anchorage on this day. I just realized you couldn't even see what I did because it wasn't in frame. I do apologize for that. But we thought, well, let's just go ahead and leave because Anchorage is, you know, a good probably eight hours driving the camper or, you know, pulling the RV. So we will, we'll just start and then we'll see how far we get and go from there. And one of the things about Alaska is people just pull over and like um, parking, like pull offs. I really only saw this in like Alaska and Canada when we did our big um, driving lower 48 tour a couple years ago, but we will just sleep on the side of the road somewhere and then drive the west of rest of the way on Friday. So this is going to be shopping. Mike asked me, what, what are we going to do on, you know, when we're in Anchorage? I said, well, here's the plan. Friday, we're going shopping. Um, Saturday, you know, we're going to do whatever. <laughs> but I was like, we are shopping. Liberty and I have decided that with all of this lovely house selling stuff, we really need some retail therapy. So we have a list. We're going to Target. Bath and Body Works, Duluth Trading Company, and it seems like there was one other place that we we're going to go, but I can't remember right now. Okay, on Saturday, we have two different things that we're going to do, but we are not going to be able to do both of them to the full extent. So we're going to go to the Seward Sea Life Center because we thought um, that Lucas and... Scarlet, the little girl we babysit that's going with us. We thought they would love that. 
And then Benjamin also has a hockey game on Saturday. And the hockey game is pretty much the same time that we're going to be in Seward. So we'll just be checking this game from our phones. But it'll be the first time that my husband has got to watch Ben's games. So he's happy about that. Sunday, Ben has a game that it will be 5.15 hour time, which is, you know, fantastic. But we will probably watch that on our iPads. And then we thought maybe we would do some type of hiking on Sunday. So we'll go ahead. Let's see if I have one of those bigger ones. We're going to do some type of hike, but we'll probably also go to like, um, like do some kind there. Oh, there, I know what it is. There's a boardwalk that we like to walk in Anchorage that you can, you get to see a lot of birds and stuff like that. And Scarlett really loves that. So we will do that on Sunday. And that's really all that I've got planned so far. We're going to go out to dinner a few times. I'm going to do some cooking in the RV as well. Um, but we are definitely going to be enjoying ourselves. And then I'm kind of really hoping that maybe this will be the last time we go to Anchorage. Like, I don't know. We'll have to see. If our house sells, that probably will be the last time. If it doesn't, well, we'll probably go a few times this winter. So I have to clean out the fridge in the RV. And then we will be in Anchorage on Monday and Tuesday um, as well. But that, I'll worry about that later. That's not going to be in this video. So this clean fridge is... Sheet S688 from Planner Kate. I also have this um, pack and unpack, and I love these. This is sheet S1013. So I think this is where I said pack right here. We're going to have a budget meeting on Wednesday night hopefully as soon as we know how much Mike's paycheck is going to be that's one of the things is right now like we have no idea how much his paychecks are going to be because his schedule is just not consistent and it is making it a little bit of a drag so I have quite a few stickers left for this week but I'm trying to think if I want to put anything right here so maybe I will put this and then I'll put the YouTube header I almost like have enough stickers where I could use this for another week because oh okay I guess I should have checked because YouTube sticker is brown and that sticker is brown so we're not doing that so let's take that off even though this is, I can't actually tell if this is peach or if this is tan, but we're going to go with it. One of the things I'm going to be getting when I'm shopping is some office furniture. I really want to get a new desk, but I've been saying that I was going to wait until we moved. And yeah, you guys know how that's been going. So I told Mike, and I'm not going to get a desk likely, but I am hopefully going to get some different cubes. One of the reasons why I was going to wait was because I wanted to get all my stuff at Ikea, but you know, so we will see, but I'll be sure and share that with you guys. And I really think that's all I'm going to do for this week. I love the way it looks. The colors are just so relaxing, but yet very fallish and I just love them. So if you are new here, I do have a link to Christine's shop down below, Simply Smith Stickers. Go ahead and mention my name for my exclusive freebie. And then if she's not having a sale, you can also use Angela20 um, as a promo code to save 20% off your order. I have links down below to all the Erin Condren products that I've used. And I think that's about it. Make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the red subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.